Thank you. <laughs> Dickhead. <laughs> There's something going on between those two in the breaks, I think. <laughs> uh, Clash of the Titans. <laughs> the other one's back in doubt. Oh, in. no. Oh, it's a little bit too excitable for me, but he's got an overcome. <laughs> yeah, he does. I mean, there's no <laughs> way that Anthony Hardy is going to get off of this one. You wouldn't think. There's still two players to get through, but Shane Collinson is all in. He stuck 11,500 in the center. Pass. Well, he's going to have to have a little bit of bottle to stick it in, but I think he's got to. He does know how loose Shane Collinson can be. How can he throw these away against a player who's likely to be bluffing? A call. Very quick call. Shotgun Shane has a live king, but it's real a thin draw here. I mean, he's a he's a favorite to get uh, really reduced in size. But it's a killer if one comes for Hardy. This pot, 18,400 pounds, and it is Anthony Hardy all in and trying to banish the king from the garden gates. <coughs> Obviously, the queen means that uh, it's a little bit harder for Hardy to improve. There's a lot of money riding on this flop. Ace. Well, there's Jack. a straight draw out Six. there now. Ten. Yeah. Four. Possible backdoor flush as well, but Jack or Lots a king. Two runners. Or a 10. Oh, is that a jack? A 10 or a king? Yes, yeah, seven outs now instead of three for shotgun Shane Collinson. Be a good card. And uh, two cards to come. Two. That's a good card for the bookie. There's seven in the deck to send Anthony Hardy walk in. Two. Queen's up is going to hold up. And uh, it took 10 hands, Steve, but uh, Shane has gone from first to worst here. Well, perhaps just a little bit too carried away. And I tell you what, patience is a big part of poker. He started off very patient. He got involved and possibly got a bit too excited. I mean, you have to respect the move by Shotgun. A lot of heart, yeah. but all the cash for the bookie. And isn't that the way it usually is? I don't even have any cash, you know? Well, at some stage, there's going to be a big hand out, out there. We haven't seen too many big hands. A pair of queens was a nice little rake in there for... Anthony yeah, Hardy. It's, it's the biggest hand we've seen tonight. Looking a bit more disappointed now. And that's poker. Anthony Hardy. Well, yeah, 1530 right. top limit the Omaha the player hand. online. Barry Hearn has just folded ace 10. He must be aware that this yeah. game has ratcheted up. Sorry. Possibly suspecting. Ray, Shane to go on tilt. He's only got 2,600 uh, left. Is hmm. he going to go uh, on tilt? Gately has raised this pot to a thousand pounds straight with oh, the ace jack. The yeah, well. Mm. I wanted to come What you got left, boys? <laughs> oh, and now Hardy's asking the question <laughs> for those deep deep words. Hardy's asking the question now of Michael Gately. Has he sensed weakness with Gately? Right. How much is it to me if I want his call? Has he sensed he'll put down any type of hand? Oh, he's just calling. Oh, yeah, sorry. Getting a bit more value with Shane Collinson in the pot already, so... <coughs> he's very shrewd, isn't he, Anthony? I mean, uh, it's almost like he senses what Gately has. Two big cards. I thought Shane Collison was in the pot there. I thought he put his money in. Queen, six, nine. That is a heart draw for Anthony Hardy. 2,200 pounds in the pot and plenty of money to burn. I'm all in. All in. Ooh. All in and standing up. Can you sit down so he's active? Okay. All in on his draw. What have you got up for? You've got six times as much chips. He's still saying, aren't you? Oh, okay. I'll get up. Before you go. And Steve, if you're Michael Gately, I mean, how do you feel right yeah. now? Every time oh, he's, he's raised from. the pot, they've come back at him. Well, he's been pushed around all night long by some very big hitters, and he just can't bring himself to do it. And who can blame him? <laughs> he says they don't play like this in Texas. <laughs> but Anthony Hardy, boy, they're really picking on the kid. And uh, just going from top to top. It's easy when you've got a pile of chips like that in front of you. Yeah. 
Will Hardy go for the double? He won <laughs> 50,000 pounds here before, and uh, he's well on his way again. We haven't heard a peep from Renee Morton in quite a while. No, and I'll tell you the good thing about that is he's kept out of all of the, the danger. He's, he, he Perhaps he knows how volatile Shane Collinson is. He's waiting until play gets a bit more sedate. Pass. And all Gate. of a sudden, the pair of twos goes in the muck there. From yeah, Gately's gone Gately. uh, very low. And uh, a limp in from Shane. Not a much of a hand, but you, Pass. you have trouble thinking of him passing at this stage. And uh, Hardy might make them try. Oh. What is it called, please? Two to call. He's on a rush here. Four yeah, he's getting some big hands. Race. He drew seat one earlier on and was delighted and said to me, this is the seat I won from last time. 900 more. Everything's Nine going more, right for 13 him. 13 total. So it's 900 pounds on Barry Hearn, Snap. who's sitting there like a statue, says, don't forget about me. It's the same hand. A re-raise. Re and that's a marvellous re-raise. He doesn't really know what Anthony Hardy's got, but the re-raise really puts it on Hardy. How can he call? 26 minimum. Does he have to call? He's announced raise. I, that, I mean, if you're Anthony Hardy, doesn't like this at all. He's not even looking over at Barry. He's looking at his money. He's wondering how much he has left. And Collinson, is he obligated to go all in here? <laughs> he can't really, can he? Collinson's got to make the decision. But what, what are they re-raising and raising with? You can't put any more money into this pot, can you? Well, the, the original raise. Well done. Pass. It was 1,000. It's 1,700 more now oh, that Barry Hearn has re-raised. And it slowed him right up here. How much more? Ooh. 17. Well, How much in the pot, please? What you have. Anthony Hardy wants to know what kind of odds he's getting on this pot, Steve. But uh, how much I mean, in the pot altogether, please? Altogether with this is three thousand. This, this doesn't really boil down to an odds job, does it? To some degree, it's just whether he thinks he's dominated or not. <coughs> You're exactly right, and you know Barry Hearn making a small <laughs> raise like that—it almost indicates strength. Well, well, it's obviously brought on some sort of virus, or. <laughs> He's he has folded, and that is going to give her in confidence, who shows the same hand. He couldn't resist. Well, Hearn playing in fantastic nick at the moment. Uh, he really looks the part, doesn't he? He looks cool, calm, and collected. Is it the same person who manages me? <laughs> he has not had the best <laughs> cards once yet tonight. But Barry Hearn has not only kept himself out of trouble, but on top. There's still six. There won't be for long here. Partypoker.com. Poker Dan. Male bonding going on here. No, bears frolicking, bashing heads back and forth on this poker table. Still six. And looking at the leaderboard, Steve, uh, Anthony well, Hardy, Barry Hearn still on top. Yeah, three players feeling the pinch a bit. Gregory Gately and Collinson, Barry Hearn and Anthony Hardy. Probably feeling pretty comfortable. And um, Mortensen, well, I'm, I'm sure he's sort of been here before, but he hasn't been in danger. So that's quite a nice position for him to be in. Yeah, what, what do you reckon, though? There is Shane Collinson. I mean... Uh, he must know what his situation is, a bit desperate. And uh, now for the second week in a row, is he feeling a bit like the fish at the table? Okay, a fish. Now a fish at the table, apart from the devil fish, of course, a fish at the table is the mug of the table, is the weak player, he's the guy who they build the games around. Now if you can't spot the mug at the table or the fish at the table, it's usually you. So find a better game. The My fish. Can see me now. <laughs> Talking about Can mugs, I? and uh, I don't think Shane what? has lost his spirit. He knows what he has to do here, Steve, doesn't he? he uh, get the money in. Yes, he well, wants to, he wants to win. Stand doing it. Uh, he sponsors a local football team That's in the Hull area, Hannelsby Road Rangers.